Welcome to the uh, Eternal Studios uh, Quick and Dirty Photoshop Spot Color Separations Tutorial Videos. This is uh, part one. I'm going to show you how to do a black film ready for t shirt apparel out of Photoshop. We're going to use CS4 here. And we're going to use this same skull that we showed in the introduction. Uh, basically, we're going to do the black because it's the easiest to start with and it's probably the most useful in knocking out parts of the image, parts of the image for color, for, for the later colors, it'll get a more precise either feel for a knockout through a calculation or just adding a layer. Um, what we did here is we duplicated it so we could get a reference and uh, the one to work with real quick here. Basically, uh, if you keep them side by side, uh, you won't have to mess with your history going back and forth. Uh, you'll need that enough as it is. Might as well uh, keep them separate. No problem. First step, first things first, really simple. We're going to use a CMYK black, uh, basically because it's it's there already. Um, it's a decent black. Uh, there are other ways to do it. I'll cover those later in a future episode, a different method. But this will be the the down and dirty, the, the grits and guts of uh, what you're going to want to do here. Basically, uh, first things first, you're going to want to get the background completely white. Uh, you're not going to want any black information there. Uh, you can also pull up your info info bar to, to keep track and make sure that everything's reading zeroed out because uh, even a 1% will show up on a film, especially if you got a, a higher end uh, printer or someone who goes direct to screen. Uh, it'll definitely pick that up. It'll show on your shirt. It'll look like a mess. You'll have to redo the film. So always make sure, double check, make sure your background's white, and then uh, what you're going to want to do is go to your to your mode and switch to CMYK color. It's good, make sure it's flattened. Um, really doesn't matter on your profile here, uh, color-wise. You can darken up your CMYK profile, it'll give you a, a little darker, because if you actually get in the info and look at, at up here in your CMYK, it's at a 90%. Um, that's generally good for sepping because you want to work with your your curves tool a little bit to to darken up the spots that you need. Uh, once you go CMYK, all you're going to want to do is open your your channels here, pull it out, and uh, work with your black. Get rid of everything else. Go with the black black channel here and convert it to grayscale. Discard everything. That's fine. All of your output films are going to be in grayscale, uh, so you can use them into your multi-channel later on. Uh, once you got it in grayscale, you can tell it's a little grayed out. You're going to want to go to your adjustments again. Get in your curves. Open your curves palette. Get on your black eyedropper here. The black eyedropper. And uh, go and choose your darkest point. The point that you want absolutely 100% black and click it on and that's about it you're done generally uh, you can tweak it a little more from that point it's not necessary this is a little darker image it's on a black shirt um, we're gonna crank it up a little bit just to get a little darker feel a um, little more black ink uh, it's gonna print black last so we're gonna overlay a little bit of the color just to darken up bring a little more into the range up here in the midtones click OK and you're done. That is your black film. Uh, you can go and check the information, your info bar there, and see where all the, the info is. This is now just black. This is going to be the percentage of your dot on the film. And you, as you can see, it goes even way out to here as a 1%. So there will be dots there once you once you send it through a rip uh, or the printer puts it to film uh, on your half tone. So it's always something to keep aware of, but otherwise we're we're done. Very easy black film. Uh, we'll use it in our future episodes, the next video, and uh, hope you understood it all. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. Later.